Hello, 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 everybody. <clears throat> Reporting to you from uh, out in the mountains with my bus stuck in the mud. We saw in the last video where uh, Wade and Jenny pulled me out uh, probably about, I don't know, 20 feet, but I'm still down in uh, in the mud. Uh, I'm not on top of the pine needles. And as, as I sleep on this every night, uh, I've decided that I want to get a uh, snatch block and get this thing to where it's mobile. I want to be where I can be mobile if I have to be. Uh, that's all. I, I have no real intentions of leaving the spot that I'm at. And Mike from Solar Team 5 chimed in on my uh, Enigmatic Pneumatics Facebook group and said, Hey man, I got a winch just sitting around doing nothing. If, uh, you know, I'll give it to you the next van build. So I'm going to get with him after I, I'm done with this video here and see if uh, I can COD it to me, uh, you know, get his address and uh, work all that out because it's a 12,000 pound uh, Harbor Freight winch. And what I would plan to do is uh, mount it. The way my bus is set up is there's contact points with hooks made from the factory on a uh, Thomas Vista chassis and then a big radiator in the middle, which would preclude me from putting the winch right smack in the middle unless I were to get a huge, uh, heavy metal plate mounted, uh, you know, custom mounted in the middle, which uh, I don't really see that being realistic for me to pull off right now. And so I was thinking about the possibility of mounting that winch on one of the frame points where one of the hooks are. And I thought, well, if you can get this bus out of a jam with a hook and Thomas Vista's engineers figured that that, that one hook was good enough to pull this thing out of a, out of a uh, bog, then why couldn't uh, a winch be mounted right there? And so that's what I think my plan's going to be. In fact, I was thinking about getting a uh, mounting plate for it, putting it on a, uh, you know, mounting, taking the hook off, take the bumper off and uh, remove the hook and mounting a, receiver right there just a uh, custom receiver where i've got a receiver coming out of one side you know probably about a, a quarter of the way into the bumper uh of the vehicle now i could use from there i could use a uh, a tree strap around a, a tree when i've when i've got one available put a snatch block on that and then hook back over to the other hook. So I'm pulling from both contact points. And then that would also give me the ability to pull that, uh, winch off of the front receiver and, uh, put it on the back. So I've got a hitch on the back too. I could put it on the back and then wire the whole thing up with some Anderson connectors. So I've got the ability to uh, move it from, from, uh, the front to the back and use uh, quick disconnects at the same time. So I think that's what I'm going to put my focus on uh, for the next uh, however long it takes to get that done. And as far as my trailer goes, the tongue jack on that thing is bent back. I don't know if you noticed that in the last video. It was bent back way worse than that from scad and wash earlier this year. And I bent it straight with my come along, but it keeps bending. I, that, it's not made for this. And so I'm going to get a, a uh, tongue jack that flips up switch it over and then that'll the the tongue jack that flips up will have a wheel on it that way if i had to i could put some plywood down and drag my trailer on that wheel over to hard pack get my bus out with the the winch and the and the snatch block and all the straps i just like the ability to be mobile if i have to be i don't have to be right now and so that's the process that i'm going to go through i was looking up online there's a tractor supply in town I'm due for another water jug, and so I'm going to put a water jug on the motorcycle and bring my backpack and a bunch of straps and see how far I can get on a good, decent supply run in today. And I'm also going to bring you guys along with me. Sometimes the managers are a little weird about filming in stores. I've learned over time that it's better to film on your phone because it just seems a lot more uh, harmless. And so I'll try to get as much of that in as I can. I'll, uh, I'm not going to set my camera up on a tripod out in the woods and show me driving by or under that any of that fruitcake overproduction cinematography i got a big day ahead of me so bear with me i'm just gonna film this as i can film it kind of guerrilla filming and uh i'm just gonna bring you along 
So let's get let's get started. Let's do it. I got a big day. And by the way, today is supposed to be the warmest day of the week to be out on that motorcycle doing supply runs. I've got to hit the uh, mail service too. So if, if uh, I'm going to do it, I better strike while the iron's hot. Let's go. <laughs> 